Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the continuation of class eight model paper. In my previous video, we had completed till question number twenty eight. Now let us begin with question number twenty nine. So in question number twenty nine, construction of quadrilateral F O U R. They have told. So I have drawn a rough figure. F O U R. So what they have given? Let me write. F O five point five. O U four centimeter, U R five centimeter, and R F four point five centimeter, and O R is six point five. So let us first draw O R. I'll draw O R as six point five centimeter. So here exactly six point five centimeter. Six point five centimeter. So this is nothing but O R. What is O R? Six point five centimeter. Okay. So from O to F, O F five point five will measure in the scale that is five point five exactly. Five point five. We'll keep on O and draw one arc. Then from R F, R F is four point five. So I'll take four point five exactly, and we'll draw. We'll cut this arc. This let us join these points. Which point O to F we have drawn? So O to F will join, and O to F to R will join. Next, from O to U, we have to draw four centimeter. So I'll cal exactly measure four centimeter. That is O to U one arc. I'll draw one arc. Then from F to, from R to U, R U U R five centimeter. I'll measure exactly five centimeter. That is exact five centimeter. So I'll keep on R and cut the previous arc. So here this point is nothing but U, and we got a required quadrilateral F O U R. This is the quadrilateral which we required. So here F O U R is a required quadrilateral. O F is nothing but five point five centimeter. F R is four point five centimeter. O U is four centimeter, and U R is nothing but five centimeter. So this completes the question number twenty nine. So question number thirty: Length and breadth of the rectangular garden are. So here. Length and breadth of rectangular garden are thirty meter and twenty meter respectively. Find the total cost of constructing a path of uniform width one point five meter around and outside this garden at the rate of rupees one fifty per square meter. So now let us take. We know that first we will find area of the garden because length and breadth is given length is given 30 meter and breadth is given 22 meter so area of garden is nothing but length into breadth rectangular garden right so area of rectangle is length into breadth 30 into 22 So thirty into twenty-two. If we multiply six hundred and sixty meters square, this is area of rectangular garden. Now, area of rectangular garden, rectangular garden with path. They have told they have to construct a path with path. It will be how. Length into breadth only, but they have told to include one point five meter 
path so what i'll do is 30 length plus 1.5 from breadth side plus 1.5 from length side we will add 1.5 extra we have to add from length and here breadth is 22 into 22 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 we have to add 1.5 plus 1.5 okay so because length two side no opposite sides are equal in rectangle so 1.5 from this side 1.5 from this side we have to add to given length and 1.5 breadth and 1.5 breadth to the given breadth so 30 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 is 30 plus 3 into 22 plus 3 that is 33 into 25 so if we multiply this 33 into 25 we get 825 meter square this is area of rectangle area of garden with path okay so let us just find the area of path therefore area of path how we will get 825 minus our garden area 660 if we minus this 825 to 660 we get 165 meter square this is our area of path square meter square what they have told cost of constructing cost of construction for 1 meter per meter square is rupees they have told 150 in the question so therefore cost of construction or constructing how many meter 165 meter square is nothing but 165 into 150 so how much cost if we multiply this we get 24,750 rupees so this is the answer for the 30th question so let us see the next question so here question number 31st which is the last question for 5 marks Shweta spend her time during a day for different activities as follows draw a pie chart so draw a pie chart they have told so we have to draw this table activity I have written here time how much time for each activity how we will find central angle First, we have to do the total here. If we do this total 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8, 4, it is nothing but 24. So now, out of 24 hours, how we will find central angle? What we have to do? 6 divided by 24 into central angle of a circle is 360 degree. Everywhere we have to do like that. 4 divided by this total into 360 degree. 3 divided by 24 into 360 degree. 8 divided by 24 into 360 degree. Same way, what we have to do? 3 divided by 24 into 360 degree. So, what angle we will get here? If we cancel 90 degree. Here we will get 60 degree. And here we will get 45 degree. And here we will get 120 degree. And if we calculate this last one, we will get 45 degree. So now we have to draw the pie chart. How we will draw the pie chart? See, with the help of this central angles. I have drawn the circle here. So, first angle is what they have told 90 degree. I will keep here the exactly here and we will draw one line first. Okay. This is the just radius. Then I will keep the protector on the line exactly. 
then we'll start exact 90 degree so we'll draw exact 90 degree and that is nothing but school activity school 90 degree then the next is 60 degree so we'll keep here exactly and 60 degree here it is 60 degree so we will join this that is 60 degree okay 60 degree for what 60 degree homework homework is 60 degree next we will see next angle is 45 this is 40 45 so we will draw 45 exactly 45 then the next degree is 120 so 120 comes here and the remaining is nothing but 45 degree so this is 45 degree and the work play the next one is 120 degree and the thing is sleep the remaining angle is 45 degree that is other works so this is about the pie chart so this completes the model paper for class 8 so in my next video i am coming up with the other problems for class 8 so do like and share and subscribe my channel thank you